illegal immigrants can now carry guns, a federal judge has ruled. First and foremost, before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught me this truth, peace, and salutations unto the hopeful elect. The temple of King David scattered through the four corners of the earth. And to you, I say, Shalom. A Shalom to you, Akim. Shalom to you, very few sincere Aqua. And Shalom to the 144,000. And it's going to be a real quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. It's your brother Debar Kabash coming back at you from the GMS Shaw North Carolina camp with a quick lesson. Undocumented immigrants have rights to own guns. Judge rule. You see that? And actually, this came out March 19th, right? 2024, right? Around 3:35. And, uh, you know, I wanted to bring this out here, man, because what do you think all this here is going to lead to, man? All right? Undocumented immigrants now have the right to own guns man you see that in america what do you think all this is going to lead up to you see that sedition among men right uh 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 uh, uh small wars man right race riots all this good stuff here man you see and then you know i, I keep hearing you know reports about them wanting to come and take all the guns and how they you know, told the immigrants that, that now they only got 30 days to be in America before they, you know, start shipping them out. And, you know, so there's a lot of stuff that's happening here, man. You see, so, you know, again, you really got to, you, you know, use your imagination, man. What do you think that all this here is going to, I mean, what do you think all this here is going to lead to? It's lucky for that. You see, you know, it's going to lead to mayhem and pandemonium, man. You see, because these immigrants, a lot of them, they're not going to go. You see that without a fight, man, right? They've been here already for months, you know, probably some of them since last year. You know, some of them probably got jobs and, you know, just want to bring this out here, man, you know, for you brothers and few sisters, man, all right? Let me see, I was gonna play the video, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna read all of this. It says a judge is the, uh, let me see, a judge this month dropped gun charges against an illegal immigrant of Illinois, sparking further debate about the rights associated with the Second Amendment. Uh, U.S. District Court Judge Sharon Coleman of the Northern District of Illinois uh, referenced lower court rulings and uh, dis dismissing firearm possession charges against uh, against Herberto, you know, who uh, was illegally or unlawfully in the United States when he possessed a handgun in the Little Village neighborhood of Chicago on June 1st, 2000, you know, so you pretty much get it, man, right? They're pretty much making it for all undocumented immigrants, man. Now they can uh, own, own pistols, man. You see, and like how I say, you know, I'm not gonna keep this lesson quick. You know, that's why scriptures say measure out the time diligently, man. Right, you got people that's been living here all their damn life, right, and, and still can't get a gun, you know, and yet you got immigrants coming over here, you know, and they can just get a gun, man. Right, showing you that, you know, Esau, you know, because scripture tell you that we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. Esau setting all this up here, man, because he wants this to happen. He wants the, uh, 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 this chaos, man. You see that? He's going to bring the order. Order of KO. Anyway, let's read this here. Second Ezra chapter 15. I'm going to start at verse 14. It reads, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. You see that? Let's keep going here. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. You see that? And what's the modern day sword, man? The modern day sword is the gun. You see? So all you crazy ass people that are out there, you know, you think, you know, uh, 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 that you hard and all that. When all hell break loose out here, because it's called the time of Jacob trouble for a reason, man. Right? And that time is coming. The time draweth nigh, man. Right, all this is happening, right, for judgment purposes, man. You see, and scripture tell you that judgment will begin at the house of the most high. Talk about who you Israelites. Anyway, second Ezra chapter 15, verse 16. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another, you see, and they shall not regard their kings nor princes, 
in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. That's right, man. All right, so you're going to have people, you, you know, uh, uh, busting into your house, right? They're going to make uh, a January 6th to like child's play, man. All right, all hell is great to break loose out there, man. Right, a lot of people, they're going to get their houses and shit broken into, right? Because of ain't, ain't going to be no food out here, man. A lot of you women, you know, you guys have sex depraved, these men out here. What do you think they're coming to do, man? You see? So, yeah, man, we are in these times. Right? They said that, uh, they said that, uh, 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 I think, uh, what's it, uh, three in every five households, somebody owns a gun or something like that. So, yeah, man, everybody's strapped, man. Right? But, see, but you know what, though? This is why I be telling you brothers out there. Right, if you're gonna be strapped, be strapped with the Lord, man. All right, have faith, man. And even you few sisters. But anyway, let's keep going here, man. That guy said I didn't want to keep it long. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall shall be able like, and shall not be able. You see, so they can really shut everything back down, man. Right? This whole trial run thing, this won't nothing, man. A, 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 a couple years back, this was nothing. So it's great to have. They just want to, you know, see what, how people going to react. Verse 18. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. You see that? And, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much going to stop right there, man. You know, just want to do this lesson here. You know, just something real quick. Right? You know, all of this here, man, is leading up into, uh, 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 uh. yeah, man. Right? People out there dying in the streets, man. Right? You know, you brothers and few sisters out there, you know, you should look at these uh, 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 these purge movies again, man. It's the reason why Esau even puts everything in your face. You know, so like I say, you know, again, this is just supposed to have been something quick. You know, on my way to work, you know how it is. Right? Undocumented immigrants have right to own guns. Judge rule. I'll see you next time I say, Shalom.